Hello dear children, hope you're doing good. I'm going to start a topic with a poem. Earn a money with a smile, see your luck growing every mile. Share your money with charity, then your heart will be always merry. Put your money in bank account, see your saving growing in amount. So, do you guess what is the topic? Yes, the topic is all about money. Today the topic is financial literacy. Children, we earn, we spend. But have you thought of ever donating the amount? Have you thought about ever saving the amount? Yes, it is time now to think about saving and donating. We need to give back to the society the same way society does for us. Okay, so let us be future smart, let us be money smart. The task of pre-primary children is to understand the importance of charity. If you've heard my poem very well, which says, Share your money with charity and your heart will always be merry. Yes, parents, you got me right. Now, if you give them, a, if you give a pre-primary child, say, supposing a 10 rupee coin, the only thing, only thing the child would think about is what can a child buy out of this 10 rupee coin. Now, we need to un instill in them the value and the importance of money and spending it a little sensibly right from the foundation years. What we can do is we can make a creative like this. We need to tell them the importance. We need to teach them the importance of spending some, saving some and definitely donating some. If I give them, say, supposing 5 rupees pens, if I give them 5 rupees, let the child decide how much he wants to spend, how much he wants to save and how much he wants to donate. Let the child be as creative as possible. Now what I have done is the child has to do the uh, rubbing of the crayon, crayon rubbing activity. Right? I have made a plant. On a plant, I wish to, sp I wish to spend 3 rupees. So I take 1 rupee coin. I take one P coin and I start rubbing the coin to get the imprint of the coin. So I have spent three rupees. Similarly, I have saved one rupees and I have donated one rupee. I wish to donate one rupee. Similarly, you can give an activity from a ten rupee coin as well. Make the children understand that the more money you get, the more you need to think about saving and uh, donating as well. Let us uh, make them understand the importance and the value of money right from the foundation years. Allow them to spend, allow them to save and allow them to think about others. That is allow them to donate. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Hello dear children. Hope you're doing good. I'm going to start a topic with a poem. Earn a money with a smile, see your luck growing every mile. Share your money with charity, then your heart will be always merry. Put your money in bank account, see your saving growing in amount. So, do you guess what is the topic? Yes, the topic is all about money. Today the topic is financial literacy. Children, we earn, we spend. But have you thought of ever donating the amount? Have you thought about ever saving the amount? Yes, it is time now to think about saving and donating. We need to give back to the society the same way society does for us. Okay, so let us be future smart, let us be money smart. Since we are doing a topic on financial literacy, uh, children, we need to understand the value of money. We need to understand the importance of spending sensibly, spending wisely. Uh, therefore, the topic for grade 2nd to 4th is understanding the difference between needs and, and wants. Right? So, uh, let me tell you what are needs. Needs are the basic essentials which you need, the basic things which you need for survival. Uh, can you tell me some? Yes, maybe the food, the clothing, the shelter. And what are the wants? Wants are something which are beyond basic essentials. It's something that you wish to have, but not necessary. You you have to have it, right? Uh, like, say, supposing I have a car, right? That's a basic need, necessity nowadays. That's a basic need nowadays, nowadays, right? Now, I want to have a Ferrari car. Ferrari car gets into wants, right? Because I have a car. I can do with a car. But going to a want, having a Ferrari car becomes a want. Now the task for grades 2nd to 4th standard is you take a piece of paper, divide it into two halves. I have made something like this, created like this, so you can also get as creative as possible. 
right once you divide it into two halves you have to write the needs on one side and you have to write the wants on one side you either write it down i prefer you start sticking pictures from the magazine or you can use your own free hand drawing right so all your needs on one side and all your wants on one side either you write it down or you stick pictures or you draw the choice is yours you can make it as creative as possible but children remember one thing we really need to say, uh, spend wisely we really need to understand the importance of money so emphasize more on needs and take care of your wants have a good day take care be safe thank you Hello dear children, hope you are doing good. I am going to start a topic with a poem. Earn a money with a smile, see your luck growing every mile. Share your money with charity, then your heart will be always merry. Put your money in bank account, see your saving growing in amount. So do you guess what is the topic? Yes, the topic is all about money. Today the topic is financial literacy. Children, we earn, we spend, but have you thought of ever donating the amount? Have you thought about ever saving the amount? Yes, it is time now to think about saving and donating. We need to give back to the society the same way society does for us. Okay, so let us be future smart, let us be money smart. So today the topic for grade 5 to 8 is fundraising. I have set up a certain strategies for you okay, to work on the fundraising task. You need to identify the area of society for which you need to raise funds. Uh, I will also give you examples along with it. For example, for me is like old age home. I need to generate funds for old age home. After identifying the area, I will set my goal. Okay, the long term goal. The long term goal would be I need to generate 10,000 rupees for old age home. Then I will break the long term goal into short term goals, right? Month wise short term goals. Then I will set up a time frame. So like I said, uh, I want to uh, generate particular amount of money in one year's time. So that is a time frame. Again, I will be breaking the time frame into monthly time frame, right? Then I will work on the investment. I need to see if there is any kind of investment uh, involved to generate that kind of money for old age home. Uh, maybe for me the investment is time and if I'm using social media then I'll be using internet. So time and internet, I'll, I will be interviewing people, I will be putting those uh, pictures on Facebook, on different social media to promote old age home and generate the kind of money. So the next step is planning. Planning means the complete process which is involved to reach the goal. So I'll start planning maybe the kind of people I will involve, the complete process uh, I will use to reach the particular goal and finally the action. I will get going, I will get going to reach my particular goal. So all of you children get going, do something for the society, give back to the society, all the best.